Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 9 of our FM17 Newcastle save and we are playing today our penultimate episode of the season, our first season and hopefully our last in the championship. Um, we're going to start off with two very winnable games at home against Wigan and Burton, both in the lower half of the table. Uh, then we've got the massive match with Sheffield Wednesday um, and we are six points behind them with the game in hand so if we win our next two matches and beat Sheffield we will leapfrog them. Um, we also have got to play Leeds, Ipswich and Preston again three games I'd expect us to be winning and then there's just two left after that Cardiff and Barnes at the start of next episode um, but we timed this so that we would have room for the playoffs if it happened if the playoffs don't happen we'll spend a bit more time looking at the state of the club transfers, finances and just the overall review of this draw-heavy season. Um, but for today's game, we are playing a pretty straightforward team. Dyke Gale back up front in place of Mitrovic. Uh, Diame coming in with Anita and Tiote behind them. Uh, Gomez is starting ahead of Mbemba, but otherwise it's a pretty much full-strength team. Still waiting on the goalkeepers to get back. We've got Woodman and Darlow out injured. Uh, so hopefully we can start to get some of those players back. It does mean an outfield player would have to go in goal if um, Rob Elliott gets injured, but hopefully that won't be a problem. We should be beating Wigan, and I'm hoping for a few goals in the process. Dwight Gale outside of Wigan's box here, still inside the first minute, and Anita scores a screamer right into the top corner for 1-0 inside the first minute of the match. We have really ground out this result. Despite creating quite a few chances, we haven't got the shots on target. And now Wigan can launch a last-minute attack with Lafondre. We've conceded so many late goals in this match that I'm never confident when this happens. And here's Nego back to McDonald. Gilboy shoots, but it's gone wide. And it looks like we are going to get the three points here against Wigan. We've ground them out, got the result, and kept a clean sheet. As you can see, we're really close to the end of the season and we do have a game in hand on everybody else. If we win this match, we will be... Just one point behind Sheffield Wednesday with a game to play against them. So we need to get the three points and shut that gap down. A draw would probably do because it would mean that if we beat Sheffield Wednesday we would leapfrog them. But it also gives Bristol a chance to maybe get in there. Uh, so we want to make sure we close that gap and also extend their gap over Villa which is currently at four points and could become seven. For the team it is... Almost as you were, Mitrovic coming in for Gale, uh, Shelby coming in for Diame, um, and then Bemba comes back into the team as well. But otherwise, it's almost as you were, and we should be able to carry on where we left off against Wigan. Another corner for Richie. Ball sent in, and Bemba's there. He hits the crossbar for the second time from a corner, but this time it bounces into the goal, and we're 1-0 up. Burton with the corner, Palmer takes it, and it's gone in from Brayford, and the team 23rd in the league have levelled against us. Gomez finds it to Anita, there's Richie inside the area, back out to Gomez. Now Anita, good place to put the ball into Gale, and you just knew as soon as he ducked there, he was going to make it 2-1. Free kick from Richie late in the match, puts the ball over, Gale's there, and Gale scores the substitute's second goal of the game, and he has won it for us today, and we'll be starting the next match. He's on 15 for the season now. Ball cleared out from the corner, and that's the win that we needed. 3-1, we're now just one point from those automatic playoff positions, uh, automatic promotion positions, rather. We've got a comfortable gap on the playoffs, but we're just that one point behind Sheffield Wednesday with six games to go. Seven points behind Norwich. The title is not yet off with six games left and Norwich in poor form. You just have to look at the number of draws we've had compared to the teams around us. Um, we haven't been playing too badly since that awful start that we had, but we need to keep on winning and climbing this table so we can make it into the Premier League. This is probably the biggest match we have left this season. It's away at second place Sheffield Wednesday. If we win, we will move second and we will finally 41 games into the season be in the automatic promotion places we've done it the hardest way possible but it all counts for nothing if we lose today if we lose we are four points adrift from Sheffield Wednesday with five games to go and I think that starts to look very difficult 
So we need to get the win. It's a strong team going out there. Dwight Gale back starting after scoring two goals as a substitute with Atsu and Ritchie as ever on the wing. Diame's back for Shelby with Anita and Tiote in there. I'm starting to figure out the best midfield partnerships, I think. Um, and then an as strong as possible back four with Mbemba, Lasalle's, Hammers and Lazar. And Rob Elliott keeps his place in goal. Oh, Tiate has been fouled there by Gus Nyaga, and he has been sent off, and we are playing 35 minutes against 10 men. We've thrown a whole raft of substitutes on, looking for the winner. There's Mbemba to Lasalle's. He's done it against 10 men Sheffield Wednesday. We scored in the 85th minute of the match to take a 1-0 lead. Giorme spreads the play brilliantly there to Hammers. He's got players ahead of him. Can't quite pick him out. And now Emmanuelson can launch counter-attack. That was lazy by Gamez. Inside to Lee. Marco Mateus to Stevens. Out to Hunt. Players in the middle. Puts it in. And Zhao scores in the 90th minute. I thought the 85th minute would be the winner. But it looks like it's a 90th minute last gap equaliser for the 10 men of Sheffield Wednesday. Gamez, can he get the ball in? He does. Teote's there. Surely not. Into the side netting, and that is the last action of the match. It's very disappointing that we've conceded yet another late goal. Um, and it means that we are just still one point behind Sheffield Wednesday. We should be ahead of them. We should have won that match against 10 men. That's so disappointing. It means we're now nine points behind Norwich. We're not going to make that gap up in five games, so we aren't going to win the league, and it's all about trying to secure that second-place position. Here's the team for the match at home against Leeds United. Uh, you might notice that Jesus Gámez has come a little bit unhappy uh, because I rejected a move to Toronto for him. I'm not sure why he wanted to move to Toronto so much, but... Uh, because he's over the age of 30, his price is quite low and I wasn't willing to accept a £2 million bid for a player who's been so good for us. And when I suggested £5 million, he got the hump. So he's still going to play for us, but he's a bit miserable. Uh, hopefully that'll go away when we get promoted to the Premier League because there's no way he can think that the MLS is better than the Premier League. But um, we'll just have to keep an eye on that. Otherwise, the team is as usual. Uh, John Joe Shelby coming back in for Diarmé, but otherwise, I think it's everybody the same. Um, and we should be beating a mid-table team like Leeds, although we do have to play another mid-table team, Ipswich, away in two days' time. So we need to make sure we get the substitutes on early enough to keep people fresh. Lazar just runs down the left. He spotted a gap and went for it, and he crosses the ball in. And there's Dwight Gale. Not scored. Atsu can maybe do something. He pulls it back to Richie. Anita sends it out to Gamez. He cuts across to John Joe Shelby to Atsu. 1-0. I thought the chance was gone, but we managed to keep it going, keep the pressure, and Atsu scores his 10th of the season to give us a lead. Now, it looks like we might grind out this 1-0 victory. Another good home victory, but we're still a good 30 seconds left of this match, and leads are coming at us. As we've conceded so many late goals, I'm always worried. And there's a the ball over. Oh, I thought that might be one of those fluky ones that just flies in at the far post. Rob Elliott takes the ball, counts down the seconds. Let's get it as far away from our goal as possible with eight seconds left. And there is Dallas and the full-time whistle. We've got another good win with just a few games left to play. And we're up in third, Sheffield Wednesday did win as well, so we're still one point behind them. Bristol hot on our tails. We can't afford any slip-ups with four games to go this season. Oh, a lot of the players are still quite tired. I wasn't expecting them to be maybe be knocked out quite this much, but Atsu and Richie, probably the most important players, are still fit enough to start this game with Mitrovic coming in for Gale. Uh, Gibson is going to start first game for a while with Diame and Tiote with him. Uh, Haidara... Gomez, Lasalle and Anita making up the back four and Rob Elliott in goal. It's all changed at the back, so I'm hoping that's not going to hurt us too much, especially as we're away from home. But I'm focusing on keeping people fresh and fit over uh, consistency of the team at the moment, but that might backfire. Let me know if in the comments if you have any thoughts on that sort of approach. Um, but this is another big game with so few games less this season, and we're still not in control. If Sheffield Wednesday win the next four matches, there's nothing we can do, so we can't afford to slip up either. 
Sears running at our defence. We've got players around him, but he's picked out Ward in an ocean of space. He can get in the cross. He does. Gomez clears it into Grant and out of nowhere. We've been so dominant. We're a goal down. Free kick from Matt Ritchie in a dangerous position. He puts it in. LaSalle's is there and LaSalle scores again. It's one all. It's another free kick for Ritchie in a dangerous position. It's deflected and in. Two free kicks from Matt Ritchie. Two goals for us with 2-1 up against Ipswich. Atsu's free down this left wing. He's got Gale in the middle. He looks for Gale. Saved by Bielkowski. And that will be the full-time whistle. It's another very hard-fought victory in the league. 2-1 away at Ipswich Town. And with that result, we have leapfrogged Sheffield Wednesday into the second position. Just six points behind Norwich, but two points clear of Sheffield. That's the headline news. Bristol can close that gap to goal difference, but with three games remaining, we are finally in an automatic promotion spot. Time for the final match of this episode, and it is at home against 23rd place Preston North End. I am expecting us to get the win and consolidate that second place position. Maybe even close the gap on Norwich if they stutter and up aim for the league title but it's all about making sure we go up automatically um, and three points today will put us a long way to doing that we've come a long way since the start of this episode we've won a lot of matches and the draw with Sheffield Wednesday was disappointing but it doesn't matter now they slipped up and we took advantage and we've got to make sure we don't give it away Gallagher's long free kick pumped into the box and Diame has apparently fouled somebody in the penalty area in that melee and Preston North End have a penalty that could sink our promotion hopes. Up steps Gallagher. Saved by Elliot. Slowly advancing up the pitch here with our passing movement. Richie now in a great position. Finds Gale. 1-0. Dwight Gale with a goal. And despite Preston having the penalty, we have managed to take the lead first. His 16th of the season. Long free kick from Matt Ritchie. Chips it in towards Dwight Gale. LaSalle's is back there and he scores again. Oh, he's offside. Thought it was 2-0, but LaSalle's was just offside. Richie with the late free kick. Dinked in towards Anita. It's cleared out and he was offside. And that is the full-time whistle. Another ground-out victory against Preston. And it means that we hold on to second place in the league. Both Sheffield and Bristol are behind us. Uh, Norwich have won the league, six points. We're not going to close that gap. Um, but we are two points clear with two games left at the end of this episode. And I am confident we will be able to win our last two matches and go to the Premier League. So that will be it for this episode. Hopefully the next episode will be a short one with a review of the season because we've got promoted in two matches and might have to go through the playoffs. But thanks so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you've been enjoying the series. And also, the beta is ending soon. So if you want me to start a new save when the game is properly released, do let me know. Um, otherwise, I will continue with Newcastle because I am enjoying the frustration of this save. I do love the club. I want to see what we can do with them. But let me know if you want me to move on to something else when the full game is released on the 4th of November. Um, like I said, subscribe for more. And until next time, see ya.